Hello and welcome to Football Daily and on today's show we're looking at 10 players shining under new managers this season. Let's get into it. 10. Kelechi Iheanacho We're calling this one extremely early and with relegation still a point away for Leicester, individual form is far from the primary concern. But one man already earning Dean Smith's trust at the King Power is Kalechi Iheanacho. The Nigerian, a £25 million signing from Manchester City in 2017, has played just 32% of Leicester's game time since, despite averaging a goal contribution every 129 minutes in those six years, even bagging 12 in his best campaign despite not even half the matches. But the end of the Rodgers regime looks well-timed for the 26-year-old, with Vardy finally showing his age, and in the three matches under Smith at the time of recording, Iheanacho has racked up around three expected goals and assists and netted twice bringing his tally for the campaign to nine goal involvements in nine starts. He's featured up front and behind the striker, leads the team in dribbles, and only Madison creates more chances, helping the club to the 10th best attacking record in the Prem, balancing out a defence ranked fourth from bottom. It won't be much comfort if demotion comes, but Iheanacho is still just 26 and is showing the Foxes there's life after Vardy. They just have to hope it comes in the top flight. 9. Stefan Posh We'd understand if you hadn't paid attention to Bologna this season. There's so much drama at the top of Serie A, it's easy to ignore the rest. But after winning just one of their first six games, the Rosso Blue sacked coach Siniso Mihailovic in favour of Barca, Inter and PSG legend Thiago Motta. And since then, they've won 11 of 25, cruising up to 8th in the table. There's been luck in there. Their plus one goal difference is considerably better than their XG difference of minus six. But truly impressive has been Austrian defender Stefan Posch, who came through the Hoffenheim ranks under U. Julian Nagelsmann and is in Italy on loan with an obligation to buy. Capable of playing fullback and centre-back, he's been a huge attacking weapon this campaign, scoring five and assisting two. But he also leads the squad in defensive actions, is yet to make a narrow lead into a shot, and ranks in the top 11% of defenders for progressive passes with 5.6, more than John Stones and Andy Robertson. Given that he's 25 and can play across a back three or four, it'll be surprising if Posh is at Bologna for much longer. 8. Dominic Sabotslai Touted for Real Madrid and Arsenal before his switch to RB Leipzig in 2021, Dominic Sabotslai already looked excellent last season, delivering 14 goal involvements to confirm his future star status. And if you just look at the headline numbers, it would be tempting to say coach Marco Rosa hasn't improved him since replacing Dominic Tedesco back in September, with the Hungarian currently on 12 contributions, a marginally slower rate than he put up last term. But that isn't the whole picture. Sir Botsley has retained his end product this season over 0.5 xG per 90, but is more influential across the pitch, reassuring fans' concern about the impending departure of Christopher Nkunku. The 22-year-old ranks fourth in Germany for chances created on 2.8 a game and has upped his passing into the final third, while he's also winning possession more often and has doubled his dribble numbers, all the while losing the ball less than before. Only Willy Orban has played more minutes, and after Nkunku and Gavardio, Sir Botsley is rated the third most valuable member of the squad at 40 million euros. Not bad given he cost half that amount. 7. Mario Lamina when Yulin Lopetegui took charge of Wolves in November, the club were in trouble. Their 10 points in 15 games put them on track for 25 and relegation by the season's end, but the Spanish tactician stabilised the club in impressive fashion, taking 22 points since to drag the club to relative safety in mid-table. The early returns are perhaps a little inflated. Wolves remain the worst attack in the Prem by XG created, but Lopetegui was smart to bring in Mario Lamina in January, adding heft to a lightweight midfield. A bit part player at Nice in the autumn, the Gabonese ranks seventh for minutes since his switch to the Midlands, and his defensive presence and steadiness on the ball free up Moutinho, Nunes, and Neves to take risks. With Lamina boasting the best pass success rate in the field, 87% to an average of 80 for the others, and over four tackles and interceptions, leading the entire squad. He's not eye catching, but the former Juventus man has at least made Wolves harder to beat, and in a year where five Premier League teams are picking up under a point per match, that's enough to keep them up. 6. Yusuf Ennasiri a surprise member of the three managers season club are Sevilla, joining Tottenham and Chelsea, but arguably in even worse condition. The Andalusian outfits may be flying in the Europa League as usual, but they're languishing in 11th in La Liga, 17 points off the fourth spot they managed last year. Thankfully for one of Spain's historic sides, things are looking up since Jorge Sampaoli was ditched in favour of former Eibar boss Jose Luis Mendilibar. The Basque has only taken charge of just over half a dozen games, but has five wins and two draws to his name, and the leading resurgence has been his Moroccan 
forward Yusuf Nasiri. The World Cup semi-finalist has scored six for his new boss, dumping Manchester United out of the Europa League in the process, and has improved his strike rate from a goal every 195 minutes to one every 81. If he did that for a full season, he'd net 42. This is obviously not going to happen, but Nasiri only needs another hot month to earn his second Europa League title, and so be his fifth in nine years. It appears after the 25-year-old's World Cup, anything is possible. 5. Yvonne the Youth Will Steele's Stab the Rance revolution has been well covered at this point, as has the rise of online striker Fuller and Balogun. But the 30-year-old coach's main success has been in defence, taking over a backline which was the fourth worst by XG conceded, but has since only allowed 16 in 23 for the best record in the division. Partly work done on the training ground, but largely down to his faith in 23-year-old keeper Yvonne de Youth. Under Steele's predecessor Oscar Garcia, Austrian stopper Patrick Pence started every game between the sticks. But Steele's first act was to ditch him for Duth, who has since played every match. Prior to the current campaign, Duth had just 135 minutes to his name for the club. But he's managed an 81% save rate and a league best 13 clean sheets in his maiden season, and has lost just four times in 25 fixtures, and has only conceded 20 from 27 XG, by far the best performance of any league and keeper. A likely inclusion in the division's team of the season, Steele's trust in Duth is so great that he sold rival Pence to Leverkusen in January. But with Spurs, Chelsea, and Manchester, United all looking for number ones this summer, it'll be an uncomfortable window for Rance. 4. Michael Elise Roy Hodgson might have been an unfashionable choice to replace Patrick Vieira, but it's hard to deny that Crystal Palace have moved in the right direction since the veteran took the reins back at Selhurst Park. In six games, Palace have picked up 13 points, more than they did in their previous 15 in a run stretching back to November. And though it's been a favourable schedule, they've put up over 1.5 XG in three of their games under Hodgson, something they did just four times in 28 under Vieira. And coming into hot form is Mikel Elise, who previously looked half the player he did in 2021-22. The wide man's stats are down overall, from 0.5 xG per game to 0.3, but three assists against Leeds and under Hodgson, he's averaged two shots and three key passes a game, up from 1.2 and 2 last term. He's making more defensive plays too, and despite dribbling less, takes the ball into the box more, while a third of his passes into the penalty area all year have come in the last five fixtures. For a 21-year-old, it's impressive, and with Wolf Sahar's Palace reign soon to be over, Elise could be the talisman for a new era at the club. 3. Jeremy Frimpong Almost every intelligent player is touted as a future manager, but even among those, Xavi Alonso was a special case. The Spaniard played under Benitez, Del Bosque, Mourinho, Guardiola and Ancelotti, and after retiring in 2017, he took his coaching badges at Real Madrid before taking charge of Real Sociedad B and then by Leverkusen, unseating Gerardo Siouane in October. Under the two-time Champions League winner, Leverkusen have been spectacular, taking the third most points in the Bully, just too few in the Bayern, matching them for wins and reaching the Europa League semis. And while everyone has benefited from the change, wingback Jeremy Springpong has blossomed in particular. With two goal involvements in eight before Alonso took over, he's picked up 12 in 21 since. And despite his partly defensive role, he's currently rolling at 0.5 xG per 90, the same as Odegaard and Grealish in the Prem this season. He also ranks in the top 1% in his position for dribbles, progressive carries, and touches in the box. And he somehow improved both his defensive output and ability to receive outlet passes this campaign, an exciting combo in a 22-year-old. Fortunately for Leverkusen, his wing-back role will limit his market, though Alonso himself is reportedly on Real Madrid's managerial shortlist. If the Germans want to do something special, they need to find a way to keep them both. 2. Solly March we could have easily included Karo Matoma, who's absolutely replaced Leandro Trossard at Brighton, or Moises Caicedo somehow upgrading on Yves Basuma. But with De Zerbi leading the Seagulls to a serious chance of Champions League football, it's fitting that we shine a light on a player who first signed with them in 2011, but has only unlocked his potential under the Italian manager, English winger Soli March. Prior to De Zerbi's arrival, March's best goal and assist tally in a Premier League season was six and three under Potter, with the former Chelsea coach using him as a wing-back half the time. But to date, March has scored and created 13 in league play this term, placing him top of the squad, and needing just two more goal involvements to match the best total by a Brighton player since they got promoted in 2017, Pascal Gross's 15 in that first year up. Racking up 0.6 XG per 90, he's tripled what he was producing under Potter, and he's even outcreating informed stars like Madison and Grealish, with only Saka and Olise assisting more goals among English players in 2022-23. Given faith and energy by a new regime, March is also one of the best defensive wide men in the Prem, and a top quality outlet. No one could better sum up the Brighton way. 1. Ollie Watkins 
If Erling Haaland is the deadliest striker in the world right now, Aston Villa's Ollie Watkins has an unlikely but reasonable claim to be second. Only Haaland has been involved in more goals than the Englishman since the World Cup, and across Europe's top five leagues, Watkins now makes up the top 20 scorers this campaign, level with Karim Benzema and one behind Messi, helping Villa from 11th at Christmas to 7th at the time of writing. Having netted just twice in 11 fixtures before Steven Gerrard was ditched for Unai Emery, Watkins has produced 12 goals since, as well as four assists, making him responsible for just under half of his team's 35 strikes under the Spaniards. And while his change is perhaps a bit misleading, with almost identical XG numbers before and after Emery's arrival, his new manager has sharpened him as a pure striker. With fewer key passes, progressive passes received, and dribbles showing that Watkins spends less time running the channels, but gets more shots from closer to the goal than he did last season. The numbers also indicate that this level is sustainable for Watkins, and at 27, he's old enough that Villa should be able to keep him longer. Top 4 may be an impossible dream, but European football is no more than the star man deserves. So that was our look at 10 players benefiting under new managers this season. But who have we missed? Let us know in the comments down below. If you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to Football Daily so you never miss any of our content. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.